Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak, and in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to merge images together with the Align and Blend options in Photoshop. I'm going to use the Mini Bridge panel to open these images, and first, I'll show you how to create a panoramic image. I select the first image and then I shift click on the last one to select them in a row. As you can see I have six images here. I make the thumbnails a little bit larger just to help you to see them. So I have six images and I took these photographs in Newcastle of the Tyne Bridge and I would like to merge them into one panoramic photograph. I will click on this little icon here in Mini Bridge which is the Tools option and I will choose Photoshop Photo Merge. In this dialog box nearly always I choose Auto Layout which can not only place the images but it can also distort them to make the best fit between the images and I also like to use Blend Images Together and even Geometric Distortion Correction. And These are really useful when you want to make a long panoramic image and then I click on OK and Photoshop will start aligning these images together and after the alignment it will also automatically blend them together. As you can see now we have the alignment but still we have those edges between the images. We need the blending to have them without the edges. But well, everything is made automatically, so we have the final result here. And if we check the layers, you can see that we have masks on each of the layers. That is how the blending works in Photoshop, the automatic blending. The last step is just to use the crop tool and crop out the useful area from the image, something like this and we can zoom into it to see that every part is nice and blended together. Now I will show you another example where we can use this auto align option in Photoshop and I'm going to create a montage from three images. I select these three images from Mini Bridge and again I go to these options but now instead of photo merge I will choose load files into Photoshop layers. It will create a new document and will load the three images into three layers. If we zoom closer a bit, you can see that we have the skateboarder here on the right in the first image, we have him in the middle on the second one and on the bottom layer we have him on the left. We can make a montage from these three images and see the movement on one photograph. We need to first align the images because as you can see I moved a little bit when I took these photographs. So I need to select all the three layers from the layers panel and then I go to edit and I choose auto align layers. I use the same option auto for projection but in this case I don't need geometric distortion. So now I click on OK. And now if I turn off the layer on top you can see that now everything is nice and aligned. So now I would like to only see the skateboarder from the layer on top and to do that I'm going to create a mask by clicking here on add the pixel mask and I'm going to use my brush tool with a black color and with a soft edge. So I just change my brush and I draw over him here on the right like this. Then the only thing I need to do is to invert this mask by using the invert button on the masks panel. And now we immediately see two versions of the skateboarder stunt. We can repeat the same thing on the second layer, so I select that, I create a mask and I use my brush tool to draw over that version and I click on invert and then we see the whole movement. Just to show you what happens, if I turn off the background layer, the bottom layer, you see we only have these areas visible from the top two layers and we see the environment from the layer at the bottom. So this is how it works. It can be applied to a whole series of photographs. 
But this is not all that you can do with auto alignment. So I will go back to mini bridge and I select these two images and use the same option Photoshop load files into Photoshop layers to have the two images on two layers. And as you can see, this is a group photograph. If I turn off the layer on top, you will see another version of the same group. And I would like to make a perfect version where everyone looks into the camera. I have this image on the top where everyone looks in the camera except the man on the left. And I have the other version where he looks in the camera, but the girl looks away. So none of these versions are perfect. So I need to blend them together or merge them together to have a perfect version. So now I select both of the layers and I go to edit auto align layers. I click on OK, use the same projection setting. And now if I zoom a little bit closer, you will see if I turn this layer off on the top, everything is aligned now. So the only thing I need to do is select the layer on top, create a pixel mask on top of it and use my black brush and I draw over his face here on the left. So that's it. And we now created a perfect group photograph. I can even tell her to close her mouth by drawing over it like this <laughs> because it's completely aligned. I can even do things like this and change the features on the face of the people on the photograph. So just to wrap up what we learned in this tutorial, you can make perfect group photographs. You can make nice montages capturing movement or you can make amazing panoramic photographs by only using auto align and auto blend in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this and you find these techniques useful. In the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to save your works properly and how to present them to your friends or to your customers. If you work as a professional graphic designer or a photographer. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.